gay pride is different all over the world and many many places that I go the majority they're still marches and not pride parades because people don't have their rights I mean you have to realize this is one of the first major countries to have gay marriage um, uh, when I was here uh, back in 2007 you had only had it for two years but we're leading the way and um, and one of the most uh, uh, accepting societies um, uh, and all elements of society. So you see businesses, you see um, you know uh, young people, older people, um, and even uh, different political parties that are including LGBT people. Um, and um, to be honest with you, the world needs that. Um, we saw two years ago the world's largest democracy take one sixth of every LGBT person in the world backwards when India recriminalized LGBT people. So, um, uh, as uh, President Obama, my friend President Obama, would say, uh, civil rights and justice doesn't work in a straight line. Um, and it's very important that we continue the work and that we also look for best practices. And I believe it, sometimes it's difficult for people in their own community to see that they have a best practice. But one of the most stable, the most uh, consistent pride um, organizations um, in, in this decade has been Madrid. I know some of the criticism um, about a party, about corporate uh, advertising, and I will tell you an example, our current vice president-elect in the United States, uh, uh, vice president-elect Pence, still governor of a state called Indiana, that, um, that put forth a law that he signed that would have made it legal for any business or any accommodation to put up a sign, no gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender served. And it was society as a whole that rose up and said, no, we are not going to allow this happen. And it was sports teams and corporations who stopped building in the state, who said that they had projects they're gonna pull out, major companies. These were never, 10 years ago, our friends. And today they realize it's good for business. And that's an important message because it's a message that counters the message that ultranationalists use that you can't support diversity and that you can't support marginalized people and be economically prosperous. That's not true. So having a commercially successful pride and having a um, uh, pride that has an educational element so that the struggle is still talked about. As I mentioned, we have to teach our history, but uh, people need to be able to celebrate who they authentically are. And, you know, it, it happens in the U.S. and it happens all over the world. I mean, look at Orlando. Um, uh, and uh, what we have seen is that we need to do more um, culturally sensitive education um, on uh, not only LGBT, but on diversity. Um, and we need to make sure that we are uh, teaching um, not only, uh, not, not simply tolerance, but inclusion and in the celebration of people. Tolerance is a very low bar. Um, uh, you know, you tolerate things that you really don't like.